This Thursday, three of the unions in higher education, UCU, Unison and Unite, are taking strike action over pay and conditions. This means that this Thursday you shouldn't go into a university, work in a university, or work for a university. If you're a student at university, you can support the strike by not going into classes or using the campus in any way, and that includes going in to pick up lunch or to look for something in the library. The strike is nominally about pay and conditions, that in real terms, pay in higher education has fallen by almost 15% over the past four years. It's also about the insulting 1% rise offered in lieu of this. But it's about other impacts of higher education policy too. The gap between managerial and staff salaries, gendered pay division, and the rise of zero-hour contracts across the sector. The sector isn't short on money, it's just not going to people who work in it. If you work in higher education and are not a member of a union, don't worry. You can join now in advance of the strike, up to and including on the picket line itself. If your employer is ordering you to declare your participation or non-participation in the strike in advance, don't. They have no right to demand this. Even if you're not a union member, if you share the same employer as strikers, they aren't allowed to single you out for victimisation, nor indeed are they permitted to demand a list of who is and isn't a member of the union. Strikes are about solidarity. It's the weapon used to strike back at employers. We know that employers depend on our work to function, so withdrawing it threatens the operation of their business. The more solid the strike, the more powerful a weapon it is. This means that a strike isn't a matter of agreement or disagreement. If you claim to agree with the strike, but cross the picket line and go into work, then you're breaking the strike. That's also true if you're rescheduling or moving classes on strike day. It's still strike breaking and it's still undermining the strike. Rescheduling or moving classes just turns a collective withdrawal of labour into a day without pay. This is often called scabbing. It's a violent and pejorative word, yes, but it's used to describe an act of violence. Don't do it. So if you're a worker in higher education, come out and join the strike. If you're in a well unionised workplace, you probably know your branch already. But if you don't, get in touch with them now. They can help you with difficult or risky strike situations. If you're a student, support the strike by not crossing the picket line, but get out there and support the workers on it and talk to them about what it's like to work in higher education. You might discover it's not often the lucrative career that many think it is. If you have a lecturer who's not striking that day, tell them you won't be in class and try to persuade them of the uses of the strike. Tell your fellow students too. Lastly, a single day strike action or relying on the big unions to organise effectively for you probably won't win everything that's needed in the sector. But strike days or union branch meetings can be useful places to meet people who are as angry about this stuff as you are. Don't look at it as an end, but a springboard to further action and better organisation in your place of work. That might mean especially linking up struggles in a particular workplace that get hived off into separate unions, with academic and support staff working together against management. After all, working in the same place for the same bosses, it makes sense to struggle together. So, on Thursday, don't go into a university, don't work in a university, and don't work for a university. And don't cross the picket line. Solidarity with the strikers.